What up everybody, Larry here at FUC. I got in a big ass unboxing today. So this is a figure or a piece I've been looking for for about 20 years. They're hard to come by. If you do find one, they're destroyed. But to get one in good condition, you'll never get. They're from the early 80s and pretty fucking big. Anyway, I found one in Texas. So I didn't have to pay a shitload for freight shipping. 10 hour round trip today. Finally got home. They gone through early this, this morning. And you can tell this thing is huge. <laughs> Almost seven foot tall. It's like six foot uh, nine inches, I believe, or six eight. The guy really packaged it well for me because I thought I was just going to pick it up about how it was. In fact, this may take a while to un. Dude. But yeah, I left at 9 o'clock this morning. Just got back. 7 o'clock at night. About 600 miles round trip. Nice old man though. But it took him longer because he wanted to talk. And I had to get gas three times. One day, that is a lot, you can tell by his feet, <laughs> you might not be able to because it's dark, but we will see it in a minute. Eventually. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Can I get this arm out. Look at this. So we have a 1980s Coors Light Beer Wolf. These were mainly in bars. Yeah, bars that were big enough to be able to have one. Of course, none of them survived. Thick, solid. I, I, I'm guessing resin or just a hard, hard plastic. Foam filled with two by fours holding it together. But that is it right here. You carry them around from you know, bar to bar, business to business. Put a little hat, a Coors Light hat on him. Right here in his arm. Let's get back there. Right here in his arm. You would either sit, depending on the season, you said football in the football season, just a six pack of beer, basketball season of basketball. You can get, um, you can, during Halloween, you can stick just a Halloween bucket in there. They would uh, come with different uh, shirts and stuff you could dress them up for for the holidays. And uh, yeah, cool. One on one forever, finally got one. This one has been repainted because the guy said, you know, he wanted to cover up some issues with it. But besides that, it's in perfect condition. It's awesome. I just don't know where the hell I'm going to put it at all. Yeah, look at that face. Let's look at the back of it. it stands on a big base, so it's nice. It ain't going anywhere. It's got a Coors Light belt on it. You see right here where it actually is two different pieces, but it is together. It'll probably break pretty easy. But yeah, cool. Let's do that back there, baby. Right. I'm gonna have to try to find somewhere to put it, but for now it's about ass. That's awesome. So yeah, tell me what y'all think about uh, this pickup. Hell of a deal, hell of a deal. Super happy. Um, give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe if you haven't. Till next time, deuces.